Good morning, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Armo with the Stop Swoosh, and I'm here reviewing AEO. This was one of my top washes today, and I couldn't get filled full size in it immediately, and then, and then that ended up being a good thing because it got stopped in the first century. Let's just go over it. So I'm looking at this now. You know what? I think this didn't, no. I think this was the open. Anyways, I shorted this here, it dropped. I did not get filled full. Had the stop in at 12.20, it bounced up, hit me out, held 12.30, and then broke again. You could have done a second trade in it. I did do two trades today, which is unusual for me. I was in two at the same time. So because I didn't take a full loss in this, got stopped and it was already in JPM, I let it go. But there were some people in the room that retook this. Where could you have done it? You could have aggressively done it right again here if you wanted to or you could have waited and done it later here. Probably a better time to be more um, confirmed for the entry would have been to take it here around 10 o'clock. This did end up going to one of the targets I gave today. 1160, 1150, 1154. So it's very interesting. First trade in this failed, second trade worked, and you could have retaken it. It was a good gap. Uh, this is not falling today because of the market. This is falling because it was a good bearish gap, and that's the bottom line. So some people did redo it in the room and made up the loss from the first, uh, from the first stop. Um, some people did the JPM as a second trade with me. So everybody did different things today. But this move here, here I'm going to blow this up in the five minute, was probably the best, tightest confirmed entry that you could have gotten, which is around where I showed you on that one minute chart. It was around 10 o'clock, 10.05. Cause you could have done this here with a very, very tight stop. If I had done it, which I didn't, but I probably would have put it at 12.15. I probably would have sized it for 10 cents and it moved down, you know, 50 cents. So this really was a big trade if you retook it. When you are looking to do retakes and things, when they fail on the first setup, you have to have 100% conviction the gap is a good gap and it's still gonna go and work. We're going to review uh, the gaps that have not worked on the first setups tomorrow in the room. It should be interesting. I think it's going to be interesting for me to look at those at the data for 2017 for that. But this was a this is a perfect one here just to show that if you stick with something and it rates good, you know they work still whether they work later in the day as a second setup in the day or the following day. This just so happened to set up again today, and this was a big a big move in here if you took it right. Again, I did the JPM, so, but it worked out well for the people that retook it and went to the target just a little bit late, okay? I think now looking back at this in the moment, it's, you know, it's, you're, you're watching things in the moment and you're caught up in the trade, but I, I think this open here, I don't think this open until 9.35. So really, there was no setup until this. I'll have to go over that in the room tomorrow. All right, congratulations to the people that redid the AEO and made money. And we'll see what we get tomorrow. Email me at melissa at thestockswish.com if you would like more information or have questions about the Golden Gap class, which is this weekend. Again, AEO rated good as a bearish gap today. I have a rating system that tells me what to watch every day. Today there were two watches, AEO and JPM, and they both worked. Have a good day, everyone.